You're very welcome back. Now, when 99-year-old Jim McManus competed in the World Tango Championships in Argentina earlier this year, he received a standing ovation. I recently met up with the dancing star to get a lesson from the master himself. Here's how I got on. banks of the River Shure in County Waterford. Now, I'm about to head into Tracy's Hotel here to meet a man called Jim McManus. Now, Jim is just home from Buenos Aires, where he competed in the World Tango Championships. The thing about Jim is he's nearly 100 years of age. I hope I can keep up. Jim, thank you for taking the time out to meet us today. That's a pleasure, I don't mind at all. <laughs> We're here in Tracy's Hotel in Waterford, and this is a special place for you because every Tuesday, the tango group gather here, don't they? That's correct, yes, that's it. Yeah, I'm down here every Tuesday, seven o'clock on the dot. And uh, we, have, we start off with a beginner's class at seven. I like to help the beginners. So Jim, you are just home from the World Tango Championships. How was that trip to Argentina? Oh, that was fantastic, really, you know. I, I really felt I was out of place there because I met people who were experts, you know, people who practice every day almost every hour of the day as well. They, they act as one. They, each one knows what the other one is going to do next, you know. Yes, but you so, were paired with a much younger partner, weren't you? you yes, weren't oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I never asked the lady her age, but I would say she was in her 40-something, so maybe 50, a tango teacher okay. in Buenos Aires. Wow. And we went dancing to the various tango clubs. Jim, dance brings out all sorts of emotions, passion, fun, our spirit. It raises your spirits straight yeah. away, you know, the music. The music is a big thing in dancing. And I'm, I have noticed as well that a lot of people don't listen to the music. They're so busy chatting to each other, some, and there's a continual buzz of chat, chat, chat. They're not listening to the music, and consequently, they're not dancing properly. Because they're missing their steps. Exactly. And they're crashing into people, and <laughs> bumping into people, and bulldozing them off the floor. <laughs> now, before I let you go, and maybe you'll give me a little dance lesson, I want to know, and I hope you don't think I'm rude talking about your age, but you're going to turn 100 in yeah. January, is that correct? That's correct, yeah, the 5th of January, yeah. So what's your secret in terms of how well you've aged and your energy levels? Well, I keep saying to people, there's no secret in it now. I mean, it's on the television. <laughs> they tell you what you should be avoiding and what you should be eating and keeping active, eating the right food and avoiding junk food. The bad stuff. Yeah, the bad stuff, which people have told you too much sugar, too much of this, too much of that. You've got to cut those things out. That's it. So just watch so listen it. Again, to the good advice. a little bit of discipline again. It does take discipline, doesn't it? It does. Uh, Jim, we won't chat any further because your dance teacher is here. I'd love to see the two of you in action and maybe you'll give me a few tips as well, will okay. you? Okay, yeah. First to take to the floor were Jim and dance teacher Tara to show me how it's done. Tengo que ir. Siento que tiemblan las baldosas de un bailongo y oigo el resón de mi pasado. And then it was my turn to learn some fancy footwork. You can step back with yours and I go forward. Or you can step to the side. Or you can step to the other side. Okay. Or you can step forward and back again to, together. Now, the first step you take usually in the tango when you're setting off is this one. 
the left foot goes forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you, you've done it in three minutes. <laughs> I'm tangoing. Yes. Am I really? Yes, you can. Can we go get out. some music, please? Get, get the music on. Get the music going. I tell you, well, he's some man for one man, isn't he? Isn't he? he? Incredible. 99 years young, 105th of January. Yeah, lovely man. Um, and you know what? It just reminds you that, you know, cooking basic food for himself, yep. pair it back to basics. Did you hear what he said about, you know, people spend so much time these days in coffee shops eating cream buns? Yeah. Not getting anything done. Yeah. And piling on calories. And he was like, it's just, yeah. stop doing all that Get waste of, of time food. stuff. And he's dancing a couple of times a week. And he doesn't drink anymore. He said he used to drink and he doesn't drink anymore. So that's Aye. another positive step. But it's five nights a week of dancing. I mean, it would have to do you good, wouldn't it? How did you find the tango? I enjoyed it, actually. Yeah. I was kind of a bit intimidated by him initially. Um, and then I got into it. And then we had yeah. great fun. Fair play to him. Yeah. There you are now. He's enjoying his life, isn't he? He's living his, living living his, his best, best life. life. That's what he's 